Hello everyone, good afternoon, good morning, good evening again, anywhere you find yourself in the world. Your baby and darling on ladies here, Queen Luxin again. It's time to look extra beautiful. Let's go guys. So, I'm going to be using my mirror to make sure I see my Okay. You know what guys, I'm going to be using black and then fill up a little bit. You see? So now I'm gonna be filling it up with my brown pencil. I use black to draw and I'm filling it with brown. Make sure I the one I draw with disappear. So now I'm gonna be cleaning it up. So I'm gonna be using two color brown and white and my brush chaser cream shaper 233. That's what I'm using. So I'll be starting with this and When I'm drawing my brows, I don't worry for the shape, the size I mean, because I'm going to be cleaning it to the way I want. Okay. So now after doing this like this, I'm putting, laying down my brush. So now, let's go on top. Okay. And I'm going to be laying it to make sure I have a flat line. Sorry. So, so can you guys see now? The line is better than before. So we go in again till you have that straight line that you want okay and now so how is it come again So now I'm going back down so 
So, I believe it's better than none. Okay, now Take your time when drying your brows. You don't need to be rush because it takes time to get the exact shape. Okay, so now it's better, right? So, guys, uh, uh, normally I am fast in drawing my left brows than my right brows. I don't know why. But it's kind of easy for me of for holding the brush and all that. As you guys see now, that's the end of it. And I'm blending it now. Why I always do this is to bake and make sure the front don't look too much of artificial you understand so i'm just going going in and just be taking it yeah okay so that was it our brows is done you know normally Brows can never come to this end from here to here. Some people it come, it grows, but some people know, like for me, no. So I like it this way. So I'm gonna be using my brush of uh, JSOP again 231 to give me that greasy look. So And guys, I'm using a brush of 231, as I said, it's a party crease. Petit crease, okay. So, since I've done this, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding pink on top. So, I'm gonna be adding pink. So, I'm using my floppy brush and I'm just going to be putting pink why I do this is to blend the edges to look
so i'm gonna be going again with my red maroon color i mean my wine i mean sorry guys wine color i'm going with it again to make it different with my pink you want it to pump out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. so i'm using the same brush without no pink again so So guys i'm gonna be using another brush just to be tipping i just take a little bit of white eyeshadow to just blend this so guys do you see the difference now so guys what i'm going to be doing i'm cutting a half crease in the center of my eye so i decide to use plain white I'm using my mirror to make sure I cut exactly where I want to be cut. So, I'm going to be taking my brush now to Yeah, so guys, I already cut my eyelashes according to my eyes and put my glue, comb my own natural eyelash with my Mascara, so I'm going to be putting now my so guys, that's it. I'm gonna be putting it like this and leave it for some time and then I press it out. So, guys, I'm gonna be pressing it inside now holding it and press it inside to sit well i fixed the other one out of camera because of the time so now i'm holding it if you want you can use any instrument that you like i'm i like to use my hands so guys, I already put my primer. It's already look as if I use my foundation. I'm going to be using my collector to correct all this mark that I have here. Make sure they all become. So now, I'm going to be using my hands. It's Best for me this help to equalize your foundation and hide all your spots it's called spot it's a spot a collector corrector if I'm not lying so I'm gonna be using my Kiko Milano product and I'm using this boss. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be mixing it with my 
maybe line New York foundation because this is darker than this so let me mix it so guys I put everything in my plate and I'm gonna be tapping to the two and just be pressing it you see the difference with it so So now I already put my setting powder on my face and I'm gonna be using my bronzer to blend it out so this is how you blend it out we use setting powder because we want to set all our foundation and highlight to make sure it stay longer than it's supposed to stay like for hours so now I'm blending everything out. As you guys see, blending everything with my bronzer powder. Make sure there is no excess baking powder or setting powder. As you guys see, I'm doing it. So now it's done. So the next thing we are going to be doing, I'm going to be using my setting spray from MAC. Setting spray, it's a fitting spray, and my glow highlight. I will make sure I set my face with my setting spray first before I use my highlight to make sure it has a smooth space to stay. Always make sure you use your setting spray before you put your highlight. This is from MAC, it's very good. I once used it and I decided to find it again and I got it. So, as you guys see, I'm, I just use a little bit and it's already glowing in my face. So now I'm using my highlight, as you see. So guys, do you understand what, if you want that shiny and glowing look, always set your face with spray again before you use your highlight as you guys see it already have a base to see it you guys see how it looks already and when you are using your highlight you easily smile to make sure it's you put it in the right point As you guys see how it's glowing already give it a lovely smile and so your cheek can lift and it will go on the right spot and blend it very well because you don't want to be showing you understand you don't want your highlight to just show the difference where you place it and all that You just need your face to have that glow. And for the nose, you just need to put a little bit of it. So as you guys see, what I'm doing, I, just, I don't drag it down. I just make sure I, I put some in the middle and in front of the nose. And make sure I blend it inside with my blending brush. I'm saying hi to someone then this is the finishing look I do my lip out of camera for the time yeah but what I just did I use my black pencil and just draw my lip in the shape that I want and I just put my red lipstick on top so it have that brownish red Okay, thank you very much and it's my birthday makeup.
It's the queen blanket, huh? Huh? 